revelation. But I was recently sent a five-hour documentary which included an incredibly important revelation by a Greek video producer named Stergios. I am not sure if he's the first one who's ever discovered this, but in my 40 years of existence here, not once have I heard anyone mention it. In my videos, I usually concentrate on the metaphysical aspects of our existence here, and I'm trying to get to the bottom of what the nature is of this reality in terms of our spiritual location and our place in this dimension. This video will be about the physical aspects of our world, and I'll try to show you for the first time in your life where you really live. For me personally, this is one of the most important epiphanies of my life as it completely shifts my physical reality perspective and it validates everything I've been suspecting. You'll need to focus. This truth is complicated. This video will be an important test for you. This will be an opportunity for you to learn something about yourself and to find out how intelligent and open-minded you really are. This video is not for everyone. It might be a powerful awakening for the logical ones, but those who are still addicted to and dependent on the system will be faced with the emotional results of their lifelong indoctrination. You'll find out whether your scientific beliefs are in reality religious beliefs, which means based on blind faith in what you're told to believe. Nobody here wants to see any dislikes and ignorant or abusive comments. If you refuse to comprehend the logic behind this, or if you get emotional about what I'm about to show you, move on. This video is not for you and your opinion is not welcome. Negative, low effort comments will be removed anyway. We're here to learn and discover, not to offend each other. It is a lot to take in, but there is a reason why I have been slowly ushering you into the world of truth with my other uploads. This will be a continuation of the recent videos about the moon and about lies. They're both very popular and it seems like they're giving you a lot of insight into this reality. Watch them if you haven't had a chance yet. The moon that you see every day. It's right above your head and it probably never occurred to you that the key to understanding where you live is right in front of your eyes. I will show you now what it is that you're looking at and what you don't see. The image of the moon contains the map of the earth. In fact, it looks like it's the only true map of the world. Mirrored, distorted and sketchy, but beyond the shadow of the doubt, perfectly accurate in reflecting all the continents and the right proportions. It takes a bit of time to see it and to get used to it, because it requires a lot of internal effort to overcome a lifetime of conditioning and to believe that what you're being taught from birth is not true. But if you have an open mind and if you're curious about what you're looking at, you will realize that this is not the first time you've seen it and that somebody might know this truth too, but they don't want to disclose it to you. All you have are your eyes and your logic. And what they should be telling you now is that this is not a reflection, but an image pasted on the picture of the moon a long time ago. How do we know this? Because this map contains two continents in our known world that are no longer there. But for some unexplained reason, we have a lot of information about them. The one you're looking at used to be called Atlantis, and the other continent was Lemuria, Pan or simply Mu, and there seems to be a lot of ancient and historical maps showing them exactly where they appear on the moon map. What's more interesting, if you look at the volcano and seismic activity and the map of the bottom of the ocean, you'll see that there is something down there that is no longer visible on the surface of the ocean and this has been recently confirmed by mainstream media. They call it deceptively Icelandia or Zealandia. The truth is, it's an old continent that sunk and it appears that it happened not that long ago because in 2007 it was discovered that there are underwater structures indicating historical existence of cities in that region. But one of the most important proofs of the existence of these continents is an old map by an Italian cartographer named Urbano Monte. He created one of the biggest and most detailed maps of the old world and it is very similar to the picture we see on the moon every day. The map shows both Lemuria and Atlantis but it shows so much more than that. It is possible that it tells the true history of Earth as the animals are located on completely different continents and they appear to have each place for themselves, not like today where they're all crammed together into one continent. What's interesting is that it shows allegedly mythical creatures that today are considered to be legends, like unicorns, phoenixes, dragons, griffins, centaurs, mermaids and sea monsters. 
What's fascinating is that occasionally a creature like this will be washed up on the shore or a beach, like in the case of this sea horn monster that we see on the map here, and it validates the historical existence of them long time ago. Also, there are creatures on the map that are known only to certain cultures, and we know about them from fairy tales, yet they're depicted on this map for some reason. This map and the image on the moon prove that this might be the true history of the Earth and that this is what the continents really look like. To those of you who know the true nature of this channel, I want to show you something that should validate the whole story to you. This map was created when Urbano was 43 years old at that time and he made it in 1587, which today makes it exactly 434 years ago. We all know what this means. Another very interesting aspect of that map is that there appears to be twice as much land outside of our known world and this probably is the reason why for the last half a century going outside of the Antarctic Circle has been not only illegal but nearly impossible due to military presence over there. In this case there's also a lot of historical proof that this land exists and one of the main ones is the exploration of the Antarctic Plateau by Admiral Richard Byrd who, while being a part of multinational expeditions, confirmed that there is a vast land outside of our known world. Another very important validation of this moon map is that it is not randomly aligned. It's highly accurate proportionally, geometrically and mathematically. It aligns perfectly with the zodiac and the movement of star constellations. In fact, it appears that we live inside a highly complex calendar and this is confirmed by multiple old zodiac dial clocks that show the map of our world where Earth appears only to be a part of a bigger area. Using this map we can calculate the real size of the Earth, we can work out the logic behind our time zones, seasons, ocean currents, wind patterns and many more. It all starts making sense only when you use this moon map instead of the spherical map. An interesting aspect of this is the symbolism of the Latin cross and the crescent that have been used together throughout human history and you can actually find it to this day. Apparently this image contains so much more as it might be a composite image, which means that it contains multiple images. The video producer behind this discovery also shows how the moon images correlate with our constellations and the depth of the ocean. I don't want to go into too much detail because a book could be written on this subject. But what I want you to understand is that this has serious logical and existential consequences for you and everyone on Earth. This map confirms that everything you know is a lie. Now you know that the moon is not a planetoid and the Earth is not a globe. There is no denying it, it is right there every night. This is the key to understanding that you live in a matrix of deception that is much larger than everything we have suspected. In fact, I can tell you now that there is so much more you need to learn about yourself in this reality. This is just the beginning. It shows that there is a serious and important war waged on your mind, your consciousness, your knowledge and your way of life. Unfortunately, it also proves how little we understand and how difficult it is for us to connect the dots, even if they stare us in the face every night. I do not know how this moon picture was created, nor do I understand what the moon really is. This is all as new to me as it is to you, and I've known about this for only a few weeks. I don't understand fully what it all means, and I can only assume that we're opening the door to a huge vault of knowledge that will be collectively worked on for years to come. But I want you to take a moment to think about what it is that you're looking at. Because you're looking at an intellectual shift of historical proportions. Something that might change human knowledge forever. You can do whatever you want with this fact, but there's no room for pseudo-scientific debates, dislikes and angry comments. This goes beyond all those trivial emotional misunderstandings. If you have a problem with this information, you'll never be able to get to the truth about this life and you yourself. If you feel struggling with what you just saw, ask yourself, where is the resistance coming from? Is it yours or did someone planted it before you had a chance to make up your own mind? Is it a coincidence that people like Joe Rogan one day started attacking in every podcast everyone who questions the globe theory? There is a very good reason why anyone looking into the shape of the earth is now being ridiculed and censored. Not big food, not werewolves, vampires or Scientology. No, 
The shape of the earth is so important that presidents are making speeches about it and social media is changing their algorithms to remove it from search results. Why? Could it be because it is one of the biggest, if not the most important element of deception? The mother of all lies? One so important that if you were to learn the truth, the house of cards would crumble overnight? Why is where you live one of the best kept secrets we know of today? They want this knowledge hidden from you and that's why you need to reject all you were told to believe in and look for answers. There is a war on your mind and your consciousness and this information puts everything into perspective. The lies are much bigger than you know. That's why you need to tell everyone about it. This information needs to spread like fire, send it to everyone you know. Don't be afraid of what they might think about you. This is so much more important than your externally conditioned anxiety. Just plant the seeds. I'm not asking you to figure out what all of this means, but what I'm asking you is to realize how big the deception is that you're a part of. You live a lie that is much bigger than this information. Are you slowly starting to see it? It's not about whether this is a globe or whether you live on a flat plane. Forget that. The real question is why the lies and who is behind this huge misinformation effort? Who are you that it is so important to make you forget about your history and your place in this world? You must be someone very important and very powerful and the answers will be for you to find out. How much more is there right in front of our faces that we cannot see? How many more dots are there to connect? Somebody left us a message right above our heads, which means that every day we see a reminder that there are very powerful forces who either created or govern us, or possibly both. This might be the proof for the existence of the divine and the metaphysical. This discovery places you in the center of the world, your history and your existence. It means that this life is about you. You're not some random speck of dust flying through an endless universe, no. You exist in a world that was created for you and you are meant to be here and now. This map proves that you matter.